We all know it's important to eat more fruits and vegetables and to eat less fat, and stir fries are one easy, delicious way to do that. Today, our guest chef is Yvonne Post with Cooking for Real. And Yvonne, you teach cooking, and you have two great recipes for us today. The first is kale with raisins and almonds. So tell us about kale. This is kale. You probably have seen it before as a garnish on your plate. Today, we're going to cook it. It has great vitamins, lots of calcium, and we're going to take the ribbing off, roll it up, and the easiest way to prepare this is chiffonade. Great chef word. And that just means cutting it into the small ribbons. Correct. Right. And, and I think, you know, we talk about how this would be a good recipe for kids, and I, most parents, I think, would take one look at this and say, my child is not going to eat this. But the raisins really make the difference. It really is. The raisins, when they puff up, they get nice and sweet. Great. And that, you, they smell, everyone smells garlic and they come over. Great. So you smell garlic and raisins and that so really So we have helps. three tablespoons of oil and we're going to add some uh, minced garlic. We have two garlic cloves minced. We'll get those cooking. Okay. And then we have a third cup of raisins. And we need a bunch of kale for this one bunch, which is about three quarters of a pound. So we're going to get the garlic and raisins uh, stir frying here. Okay. And then we're going to add almonds, right? Correct. Now the almonds, when you put them in, they're going to cook up a little bit, so they'll add a little more flavor and a little bit of protein. And this is a quarter cup of slivered almonds. So it's... Um, and you can buy them already slivered. This isn't something you have to do Correct. yourself. Correct. You can buy them slivered. You can also, you can use them sliced also. You really, oh, you can also put pignoli nuts in here. Ah, A couple okay. of different, we experiment with all different kinds of nuts. You can even do this without um, raisins, maybe with cranberries. Great. Great. So we're going to stir fry that for, so for a minute just, or so. So this is just, it's going to stir fry up a little bit. When the raisins start to pop okay. and they get nice and shiny, that's when you're going to put in the kale. And you don't mean physically pop. We're not going to hear a popping sound. You just mean they're going to They're going to puff up. They're okay. just going to puff up, and then you know that they're ready to go, and then we're going to put the kale in. Okay. So we'll put this kale in now. A lot of times we want to use kale that's already wet. Today it's not wet, so we're going to sprinkle it a little bit. Usually I take it right out of the sink after I've rinsed it and put it right in the pot, and we're just going to put it in here. And that looks like a lot, but it's going to cook down just it's like spinach It's going to cook wood. down to nothing. It really is. And, Great. you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Great. Sounds like a delicious side dish. And you could also serve this over something like quinoa or rice and make a whole meal out of it. Super. Great. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to cook down. So our second dish is calypso shrimp with black bean citrus salsa. And that's a bit mm, of a right. tongue twister, but, but we got through it. Okay, so we're going to start working on our marinade for that one. Right. Now for the marinade, we wanna, we're want to we going to put together lots of different spices. And um, mm. we're going to start with grated orange peel. So we have two right over teaspoons here. of grated orange peel. And we'll dump that in here. And you just use a little grater along the outside of an orange to get that in. Then we have a quarter cup of orange juice. So this is great because you can also use the juice of the orange. You get to use the whole, the whole fruit. Great. And we have some seasoned salt. You want to put in a half a teaspoon. We have four cloves of garlic finely chopped. We have some garlic chopped already. More garlic. You can't do it without love garlic, garlic, right? Absolutely love garlic. We need uh, our pound of uncooked shrimp, okay, peeled and deveined. And let's mix this around a little bit first because then that way we can get it evenly distributed. Let's Over put our shrimp. shrimp right in there. And then we're okay. going to toss it a little bit just to make sure that this shrimp gets all nicely covered. And Yvonne, I think some people sometimes are concerned that um, shrimp is a little bit more expensive, but you can buy it frozen, and that works just fine. And you that's can. what we did in this case. You can. And it's a good protein, you know, and it adds a little bit of spice to your dish. You don't need to use a lot of shrimp, you know. You can okay. use it as an accessory, kind of. All right. So we're going to set that aside so and that then, it can marinate. And then we want to make the salsa for this as right. well. Okay, we're going to move this aside. So we have a can of black beans. Rinsed and drained. 
Now, black beans are another great source of protein. Okay. So this is another um, good year-round. You can cook shrimp and black beans. You can get them any time of year. So this great. is good for going into this season. It brings great. a little summer into the winter. We have an orange peeled and divided into segments. We have some salsa that's already in the dish. We have fresh cilantro. We have braided lime peel. And we have, yes indeed, more garlic. More garlic. So we're going to mix that up. Very good for your health, actually, garlic is. Excellent. And then we will saute the shrimp. And I'll mix this up while you're doing that. OK, so we're going to put this up. And we'll end up putting the salsa over top of the shrimp. Serving it alongside a little it bit of oil. The if you could hand me that oil sure. right over there. Again, to do to do our stir fry. And this stir fry is with canola oil, so that's another good oil. To another use. healthy oil. Okay. Mm. There we are. Oh. We did. Little sizzle. Just a little bit of sizzle. There we go. Smells delicious. Yeah, and it's so colorful. This is going to be so pretty. That's great. Okay, well let's get our kale plated up. We can take a look at what that looks like. And our shrimp, not quite done. It's going to take a few minutes for them to stir fry. Okay, and our kale. Oh, this right our here. black bean nice salsa green. could be the bed for our shrimp. Or it could be put over top. Once the shrimp turn pink, we want to think about bringing them up onto the plate. That looks like a delicious side dish for something like chicken or or fish. With anything. Kale will go with anything. And it's still in season at this time of the year. You can still find it locally. Great. And look okay. at how beautiful that is. All right. All the colors. Yvonne, thanks so much for showing us these recipes. They look delicious. They smell great. We want to remind people to visit our website for these recipes. And for more, it's missiongoodnutrition.org. We all know it's important to eat more fruits and vegetables and to cut down on the amount of fat in our diet. And stir fries are a great way to do it. Today we made two delicious ones, kale with raisins and almonds. You know kale as a garnish that you see on your plate in a restaurant, but it makes a delicious stir fry as well. We also made calypso shrimp with black bean and citrus salsa. Absolutely delicious, lots of good protein. The recipes are on our website. It's missiongoodnutrition.org.